All right, in this part of the tutorial, we'll create the drawing panel and uh, frame, but it won't do anything quite yet. So uh, right away, I know, because I know how this stuff works more than <laughs> you, that we have to create a private class. So we're going to actually do what's called extending the JPanel class, private class, um, my panel, we'll just call it extends JPanel. And all extends means is that uh, it's a type of JPanel with a couple changes that you're going to make, you know. So you say, I would like a JPanel, but I would like it to be slightly different than the standard JPanel. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can repaint shapes of a particular type on our panel. And so the method that you want to override, and you get to change methods in the JPanel class. One of the JPanel classes uh, methods that it has access to is called public void paint component. And it gets a graphics object sent to it. So like the um, the JPanel class, when it like it knows how to call this method uh, when it needs to, uh, to to paint itself, to paint the component that is itself. And whenever somebody calls it, they send it a graphics object, graphics G. Well, right off the bat, we want to take that graphics 2D or graphics object and change it to a more updated form of the object called graphics 2D. And we're going to say that's a G2. And we're right away just going to take whatever somebody sends the method, the graphics G object, and cast it to a graphics 2D object. Uh, and casting just means you take one thing and you force it into a different type of container that has other functionality. So that's literally all we do here. We say, give me the old one and I'm going to make pretend like it's a new one so I can do all sorts of different stuff with it. I'm going to call it G2 and I'm going to make it a new one. So uh, that's all we're going to do right now for the sec for right now on the my panel object. Um, later on, we'll edit this method so that it draws lots of stuff, but for the time being, we're just going to create it, okay? Uh, well, let's draw a background. G2.setColor to uh, color.white, and I'll show you that then you can do G2.fillRect. That's one of the um, methods, and we're going to have it start in the upper left-hand corner, and we're going to have it fill the whole panel, which is going to be 600 by 600. And then, just so you see that it's actually doing something, g2 dot, uh, set color color dot black, let's say, uh, and we'll have it just fill another rectangle, g2 dot fill a rect at I don't know 20 20. 50, 50, 50 wide, 50 tall. Um, and uh, okay, so we have this panel class created. Now we need to, again, go in and create some stuff. So we need another J frame. So we're going to call this frame two. And then we need uh, my panel object, private my panel. That's the private class we just created. And we're just going to call this panel two. Uh, and then we need a couple new methods. We're going to call or we're going to create a method called public void init drawing panel, and we're going to say public void uh, set drawing panel attributes. I guess spelled that correctly, just so we can keep everything nice and tidy. So we're going to say init drawing panel in our constructor, and then set drawing panel attributes, drawing panel attributes. Um, and these names are a little clunky because I want it to be super clear what we're doing. Um, so we're going to you know, initialize the brushes panel, set the brush attributes, and initialize the drawing panel and set the drawing panel attributes. OK, so now we have to initialize the drawing panel. Uh, panel two equals new my panel object. Oops. I spelled it wrong, of course. And uh, frame two equals new J frame. And then under set the attributes, let's uh, just go ahead and do that. 
and then that's mostly the frame so frame two and actually I'm just gonna copy a lot of the stuff down here so I don't have to just type it all again so frame two we're just gonna copy the stuff we do for frame one for basically uh, all frames frame two dot add panel two and this all has to be two 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 and two and this one's gonna be um, 600 wide uh, one other thing you can do is set the location so we're gonna do that so they don't overlap that set location and we're gonna say we want it to start at 200 and it'll just set at x 200 y 0 uh, so that those two frames will not overlap so let's see if I did all this correctly and there they are you can see that the frame is actually or that the drawing panel is actually uh, drawing a square that this panel does something but it's not the two are not connected and interrelated yet which we'll start to do in the next video